So the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the iPhone 14 Pro Max are two of the best devices Apple have to offer. So let's see what happens when you put these phones against each other in a real-world speed test comparison. Starting with the glued-up test, it's not really a big deal because it's something you rarely do on a day-to-day -day basis. But still, if you were wondering which one is faster, well, the iPhone 15 Pro Max boots up a little faster than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So the first round goes to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Next, we have a productivity round because phones aren't just for using social media apps. We'll use Microsoft's Word and Excel for this. Here's an Excel sheet with 5,000 rows with complex entries, and as you can see, both are open at same speed. Next is a big 500-page Word document, and as you can see, both of them are taking their time and again, both have load at the same speed. So clearly, this round is a draw. Moving on to photo and video rendering. We'll use the same video file on both phones, and the first app we are using is KindMaster, exporting a fork video at 60 caps. As you can see, iPhone 14 Pro Max taking time to renders while 15 Pro Max is running smooth, and it is not surprise the 15 Pro Max is way faster in rendering iPhone 14 Pro Max take 55 seconds more to render. Then we tried a different app called Filmora and same result, the 15 Pro Max is again the winner in here, when the export quality was even set to 720p. So this round's also won by 15 Pro Max. Now the photo rendering. I used Snapseed for this and I've applied tons of effects for this high resolution image. I've applied the same effect on both phones and as you can see, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is again faster here in rendering the image. So the photo and video rendering round also goes to the 15 Pro Max. Now let's see app opening time. Starting with Twitter, which loads faster, is buttery smooth on both phones. YouTube load faster in 14 Pro Max, which is a surprise as 15 Pro Max has faster chip, while TikTok load faster in 15 Pro Max. For Instagram, it's open quicker on 15 Pro Max. eBay is also faster in iPhone 15 Pro Max. For Cora, it's the same story. iPhone 15 Pro Max is faster than the 14 Pro Max. The official UFC app for MA fans is faster on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Even the ESPN app loads up faster on the 14 Pro Max. When it comes to the YouTube Music and App Store, both are faster than iPhone 14 Pro Max. So the iPhone 15 Pro Max is winner in this round by only small margin, winning in 6 out of 10 apps. Next is a gaming test. Starting with Subway Surfer, which loads up exactly at same speed on both phones. Moving on, we have Temple Run 2, which game which load in 15 Pro Max a fraction of a second faster. Moving on, we have Flip Drive, which loads at the same time. Moving on to graphic intensive games, we have PUBG Mobile, which make the processor in a real test. Now, as you can see, it loads up a little faster on 15 Pro Max phone. Next heavy game is Asphalt 9 and also a graphic intensive games. As you can see, even this game loads faster in 15 Pro Max. Finally, Angry Birds 2 is the last game we have in the test, and no surprise it faster on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now at end the gaming round also goes to iPhone 15 Pro Max. Finally, we have the RAM management test. The iPhone 15 Pro Max has 8GB RAM while it's 6GB on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, but both of them have managed to keep all the apps open. So who's the champ of this showdown? The iPhone 15 Pro Max takes the crown as the fastest Apple smartphone on the block, winning all rounds. To be honest, the test shows there is not a massive performance jump in this new processor. In real-world scenario, iPhone 14 Pro Max can perform every task and in just one to two second delay, which is not noticeable. So in my opinion, iPhone 14 Max is still a better choice. Let me know your thoughts about iPhone 15 Pro Max. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.